vehicle. Get on the ground. 52 heavy. <laughs> what did I it's do? Over. What did I do? In a shocking turn of events, former University of Oklahoma football star Roy Finch finds himself back in the spotlight once more. However, this time, it's not solely for his athletic prowess that once captivated fans far and wide. Dashcam footage unveils the tense encounter as police officers pull over Roy Finch for what initially appeared to be a routine traffic stop. The gripping footage captures the moment when Roy Finch is promptly handcuffed and escorted into custody, marking a stark departure from his glory days on the football field. It all began with what seemed like a routine traffic stop, but soon spiralled into chaos, all due to the toxic attitude of one defiant driver. I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for no, me, thank Bree. you. Okay, well, you don't have that option, okay? Yes, if I'm, I do. You do not. Yes, I okay, do. If I'm, I'm not going to step out. Why did you pull me over? As the deputy pulled her over, the situation quickly escalated when the driver adamantly refused to comply with the deputy's reasonable requests. What's wrong with you? Step out of the vehicle. Now. Can I step out of the vehicle? The deputy warned the driver that if she didn't comply, he would be forced to shatter her window and forcibly remove her from the vehicle. Eventually, after several warnings, the deputy followed through on his threat, resulting in the driver's arrest for resisting without violence. In a routine traffic stop in Zavala County, the Texas Department of Public Safety, DPS troopers, stumbled upon a disturbing truth. What initially appeared to be an ordinary encounter on the road soon unfolded into a chilling revelation of human smuggling and gang involvement. Now, turn the car off. Yes, sir. You're going to do exactly what I say. Yes, sir. Put your hands on the dash. Put your hands behind your back. As the DPS troopers approached the vehicle, they quickly discerned something amiss. The driver and passenger, later identified as a known member of the Tango Blast Gang, were instructed to step out of the car. Just him. No mas. Four adult males, one adult female, and one uh, male child, nine years old. With firm resolve and precision, the troopers assumed control of the situation, ensuring compliance from the suspects as they were placed under arrest for their involvement in human smuggling. In Forsyth County, Georgia, a sheriff's deputy embarks on a daring maneuver to intercept a car filled with women who had just committed a crime. Driver, get out of the car. As the pursuit unfolds, the deputy endeavors to pull over the vehicle. However, despite initially complying, the driver abruptly accelerated and fled upon being instructed to exit the car. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Undeterred, the deputy swiftly employs a precision immobilization technique, or PIT maneuver with precision, effectively halting the fleeing vehicle in its tracks. Following the successful maneuver, the suspects are apprehended without any harm inflicted. Five fugitives, who executed a daring escape from the St. Francois County Detention Center on January 17th, found themselves once again confined behind bars following a gripping pursuit that traversed multiple states. Get it. The pursuit unfolds as officers diligently track the stolen vehicle deftly navigating through bustling city streets with unwavering determination and precise tactics. Ultimately, the concerted efforts of law enforcement culminated in the capture of all four fugitives, ensuring that they are held accountable for their audacious escape and subsequent criminal activities, bringing a sense of closure to the community. Chaos erupted in the serene neighborhood nestled at 346 Jones Street in Lake Charles. Residents were jolted from their tranquility as frantic calls inundated the local authorities, detailing the unsettling sight of a homeless man wreaking havoc by haphazardly hurling trash around the area. These people don't want to see your mess. I cleaned it up. No, you didn't. No, I threw it back out there. Pack your stuff up, get this cleaned up, or I'm going to come back and take you to jail for no inform littering. Despite the officer's sincere attempts to reason with the distressed individual, Tensions swiftly escalate as the situation spirals into a volatile state. Stop it. Clean it up. I'll clean Stop it. it. Up. Put your hands behind your back. I'll clean it up. Put your hands behind your back. I'll clean it up. Put your hands behind your back. I'll clean it up. Undeterred by the man's protestations, the officers stand resolute in their commitment to uphold the law and safeguard the well-being of the community. 
unwavering in their duty despite the challenging circumstances. The recently released dashcam footage from the local police department unveils the heart-stopping events that unfolded during this adrenaline-fueled pursuit. With a blatant disregard for safety, the suspect resorts to forcefully ramming other vehicles out of their path, leaving a chaotic trail of destruction in their wake. Each collision intensifies the already high stakes of the chase, pushing both law enforcement officers and innocent civilians to their absolute limits. As if their recklessness wasn't enough, the suspect boldly takes to driving on the wrong side of the road, leading to a series of frantic maneuvers and dangerous encounters. Eventually, the suspect's risky behavior results in a collision with two other cars, culminating in their capture by law enforcement. In the heart of Bear Mountain, a hiker's thrilling adventure takes an unexpected turn. But thanks to the rapid response of the NYPD aviation unit, a life is miraculously saved against all odds. As the helicopter swoops in, the team of rescuers springs into action, fully aware that someone's life hangs in the balance. Among them is a courageous individual prepared to descend with precision. Quickly assessing the situation, they realize that immediate evacuation is crucial. With steady hands and unwavering determination, the rescuer carefully secures the hiker onto a stretcher ensuring their safety for the perilous journey ahead. Chaos erupted on the bustling streets of Riverside, California, as a suspect wreaked havoc in a stolen Amazon delivery truck, sending law enforcement on a heart-pounding and unpredictable chase. Copy. All right, he's going over to the center divider. Unit C on the right side, we got it for you. Wrong side of the road. With sirens blaring and lights flashing, officers attempted to intercept the stolen delivery vehicle. Still, the suspect refused to yield, igniting a high-stakes pursuit through the busy city streets and onto the sprawling lanes of the 60 freeway. I uh, just TC'd really bad again into another truck. Uh, vehicle's gonna be disabled, we're gonna keep an eye on him. He's hopping out of the car, gonna go northbound. Despite their best efforts to evade capture, the suspect's reckless maneuvers led to a harrowing collision with three occupied vehicles on the freeway, leaving a trail of destruction and putting the lives of innocent motorists in grave danger. In the serene coastal town of New Smyrna Beach, Florida, a gripping manhunt unfolds as law enforcement relentlessly pursues a dangerous suspect hiding on a boat. There's a person sitting on the back of a boat behind 2584 on the dock. With the invaluable aid of aerial surveillance provided by the VCSO Air One unit, officers swiftly pinpoint Pilling's location concealed on the boat. Despite his desperate attempts to elude capture, Pilling proves no match for the relentless law enforcement officers who, with unwavering determination, swiftly apprehend him, ensuring justice is served. A routine traffic stop on Interstate 70 in Ohio uncovered a startling revelation that would rock the core of a drug trafficking operation. Hey, Paul Jenkins. We... Arlington. Arlington. Juan Carlos Leon Rivera, suddenly found himself in the spotlight of law enforcement scrutiny when a drug-sniffing dog alerted officers to a concealed compartment within his vehicle. Within that hidden compartment lay a shocking discovery, 11 pounds of cocaine, valued at an astonishing $155,000 on the street. Rivera's arrest shines a spotlight on the disturbing escalation of drug trafficking activities in Ohio and Pennsylvania over the past two years. It was an ordinary day at the Arizona Mall until a call to security set off alarm bells. A young boy, merely 11 years old, had been seen carrying what looked like a gun. So it's the one with the airsoft gun. Right. Don't reach for it. Don't be stupid. Airsoft gun. Okay, well, you're carrying a toy gun into a mall. Swiftly, police officers stepped in, approaching the boy and his mother to inquire about the toy gun he had with him. Yeah, we're good. Are you good if anything happens your Uber? We're going to put that in the purse. Yes, I do apologize. Okay. I won't let him take it out of the house again. Thankfully, tensions eased and a mutual understanding was reached. After assessing the situation, the officers opted not to take any further action against the family, 
allowing them to continue their day at the mall without disruption. In the dimly lit depths of an underground parking lot, what began as a routine encounter takes a sudden and dramatic turn as law enforcement comes face to face with a man sporting a Superman t-shirt. As tensions rise, a second officer swiftly steps in, aiming to apprehend the suspect. However, the determined suspect, adamant about evading arrest, puts up a fierce struggle, adamantly refusing to comply with the officer's directives. Amidst the chaotic flurry of movement, the suspect is eventually brought under control. His Superman t-shirt now a stark contrast to the reality of his current predicament. In the serene town of Sarasota, Florida, what started as a routine trip to Wendy's turned into a perilous ordeal on April 25th. But Jenkins couldn't evade the watchful eyes in the sky. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Aviation Unit, with their vigilant gaze from above, tracked Jenkins' every move. 15 feet ahead of you. Just to your right, and the woods by five feet. Amidst the sheltering canopy of trees, Jenkins was discovered, armed, and taken into custody. Found in his possession were a loaded handgun and a backpack brimming with ammunition. It was the swift, and synchronized efforts of law enforcement that ultimately led to Jenkins's apprehension. In the quiet hours of the night, the city streets of Albuquerque were disturbed by a wave of burglaries. He's just right here, dude. I just cruised this way, and he's he's hanging out. You're just kind of stuck. Enter Devon Roybal, his name now whispered in the shadows with a hint of suspicion. Caught in the crosshairs of law enforcement, Devon found himself at the center of attention as detectives zeroed in on him amidst the chaos of the break-ins. Their vigilant eyes caught him lurking in an area haunted by recent burglaries, sparking a flurry of police activity aimed at capturing the elusive culprit. No way. This is that Damascus steel, dude. <laughs> I put that on the game and it was yesterday. Despite Devon's fervent denials, officers remained dogged in their pursuit of the truth. Their persistence paid off when they stumbled upon a crucial piece of evidence. Knives believed to be swiped from a local store, casting doubt on Devon's claims of innocence. In a routine traffic stop on SR-100E, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office uncovered a shocking case of drug trafficking that would have devastating consequences if left unchecked. A driver was pulled over for speeding, but what deputies discovered inside her vehicle would lead to a series of felony charges. The suspect was arrested and transported to the Sheriff Perry Hall Inmate Detention Center, facing charges of fentanyl trafficking, cocaine trafficking, possession of marijuana, and possession of Suboxone. In a heart-pounding display of courage, officers from the Unified Police Department leaped into action to save an elderly couple trapped in a blazing house fire. Are they in the basement? Where's the basement? Hello? Officer Sulich arrived to find the house 40% engulfed in flames, with smoke billowing from every window and the roof. So we gotta get you out of here. Go. Go out Go. the front. Go out the front. Please. I got you. Come on. Despite the intense danger, the officers stayed cool-headed, guiding the frightened couple to safety amidst the chaos of the fire. In New Smyrna Beach, deputies rushed to Tatum Boulevard in response to a distressing call about a man recklessly firing a gun at a vehicle. Put that gun away or I'm gonna shoot you right now. What? I'm dead serious. What? You drop that gun. What? Holy mackerel. Step out of here. Right Upon seeing the suspect armed, the deputies took swift action aiming their weapons to ensure their safety and that of the surrounding community. Despite the suspect's attempts to resist, the deputies persisted, determined to bring the situation under control. Eventually, with the combined efforts of the deputies, the suspect was subdued and taken into custody, bringing an end to the dangerous standoff. In a startling discovery, Texas Department of Public Safety 
DPS troopers uncover a hidden group of individuals in a gravel trailer during a routine commercial vehicle stop. 1100. As DPS troopers conduct their inspection, they encounter the driver of the vehicle and begin their standard questioning. Upon inspecting the trailer, the troopers notice something unusual and decide to investigate further. Put your eyes back. You're place an arrest, Do you have an ID on you, sir? No, I don't. No? Fifteen illegal immigrants are found concealed inside the trailer, their journey abruptly halted by the DPS trooper's vigilant inspection. The driver is swiftly charged with human smuggling and held accountable for his role in this illicit operation. In a shocking turn of events, a joyride-turned-nightmare unfolds on the streets of Detroit, Michigan, as destiny to Laura Hawkins seizes control of a police cruiser, sending the city into chaos. The dash camera of an oncoming Toyota Prius captures the harrowing moment, providing crucial evidence for the ensuing investigation. The driver, Victor Grant, narrowly avoids a head-on collision with the Yukon, swerving to safety at the last moment. Hawkins's joyride reaches a catastrophic conclusion at the intersection of Seven Mile and Stopel, where her reckless driving collides with a gold GMC Yukon, bringing her chaotic rampage to a sudden halt. In a disturbing turn of events, the facade of a child predator shatters when law enforcement descends upon his doorstep, prompted by a troubling tip. As the door swings open, Brian is met with the resolute presence of law enforcement, marking the start of the end of his nefarious activities. Baby, apparently I'm getting arrested. I don't know. They won't tell me. They'll, they'll fill you they in back at the thing. For the house, so they can't... With Brian now in handcuffs and being escorted away, the community exhales a collective sigh of relief, reassured that another perpetrator has been held accountable for his actions. In an unexpected twist, a 13-year-old boy finds himself at the center of a chilling carjacking and abduction case. In a bold move, the police patrol car swiftly executed a U-turn to pursue the suspect vehicle. The tension escalates as the patrol car closes in on the fleeing car. With remarkable precision, the patrol car collides with the rear of the suspect's vehicle, forcing it to come to a halt. Within moments, law enforcement officers swarm the scene and apprehend the young suspect, bringing an end to the terrifying ordeal. In a high-stakes chase spanning both sides of Volusia County, law enforcement officers successfully apprehended two armed robbery suspects after a series of tense moments. Individual. Alright, 25, back off, go there, one second. 25, copy. Yeah, I did. As deputies attempted to stop the suspects, a harrowing chase ensued, reaching speeds of up to 88 miles per hour. The suspects continued to evade capture, even tossing a bag of heroin and a stolen handgun from their vehicle. Driver, black male, white shirt, bag in his hand, running towards the beach. Running towards the beach, black male, white shirt, black shorts. Ultimately, the suspects abandoned their vehicle at the Malibu condominiums, where they were promptly taken into custody. The handgun, confirmed stolen, was recovered, further implicating the suspects in their crimes. In a rapid and well-coordinated effort, authorities have managed to apprehend the gunman responsible for a shooting incident in Deltona. Barringer was intercepted while in a vehicle by an alert member of the U.S. Marshal's Fugitive Task Force. Alpha 48 Central, where they have him stop. The suspect was identified in a vehicle and promptly apprehended following a tactical traffic stop. The arrest unfolded smoothly and without incident, prioritizing the safety of all individuals involved. In an exhilarating chase around headquarters, the Arkansas State Police find themselves in pursuit of an unlicensed truck. As the heart-pounding pursuit unfolds, officers race against the clock to apprehend the suspect 
whose erratic behavior raises serious concerns about the safety of those nearby. Hands out like an airplane! The pursuit reaches a thrilling climax as the suspect's truck comes to a halt, and officers quickly move in to make the vital arrest, bringing an end to the high stakes. In a heart-stopping chase through the streets of Livonia, Michigan, law enforcement officers find themselves in a race against time as they pursue a criminal. Black male sweatshirt. The chase came to a dramatic end when the jeep crashed and the male suspect fled on foot. Despite his attempts to escape, law enforcement established a perimeter and swiftly apprehended the suspect without incident. Keep your hands in your pocket. What's your name, bud? Okay. Meanwhile, officers also pursued the dark sedan until it came to a stop. The male occupant of the sedan was taken into custody without resistance and a handgun was recovered from his vehicle. In a heart-pounding turn of events in Star County, Texas, a human smuggler takes DPS troopers on a gripping chase through the winding roads of the border region. With speed skyrocketing to perilous levels, law enforcement races against time to apprehend the smuggler and the vulnerable illegal passengers. In a sudden twist, the vehicle screeches to a halt, prompting the driver and a group of illegal immigrants to bolt out, desperately attempting to evade capture and disappear into the rugged terrain. With the suspect now on foot, officers on the ground swiftly join the pursuit, maneuvering through obstacles in a relentless effort to apprehend the fleeing individual. Just going through the uh, gas station parking lot. We're going to be going uh, eastbound on South Webster. Now southbound, yep, he's still good. As the driver dashes through intersections and skillfully evades patrol cars, the tension intensifies with each passing moment. Everyone, they are taking one into custody, Rainier and Director. Undeterred by the suspect's attempts to flee, law enforcement officers remain unwavering in their determination to bring the individual to justice. After a tense and adrenaline-fueled chase, officers ultimately succeed in taking the suspect into custody thereby putting an end to the perilous ordeal and ensuring the safety of the community. Law enforcement faces the unexpected challenges of the road every day, yet sometimes even they are taken aback by the dangers that lurk around every corner. In a heart-stopping moment, as the trooper navigates a curve, a wrong-way driver careens toward him, narrowly avoiding a catastrophic head-on collision. The reason I pulled you over is you almost hit me head on. Why were you left the center? I don't know. I think I just kind of over a little bit. Despite the harrowing encounter, the trooper maintains his composure as he confronts the reckless driver, exemplifying the bravery and professionalism that define law enforcement's response to such perilous situations. On April 22nd, 2022, in the quiet streets of La Crosse, Wisconsin, an undercover police officer embarked on a risky mission. Police! You're under arrest! All right. Police department, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't move! Let me see your hands! 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 Put your hands behind your back! A confidential informant had arranged to purchase 15 grams of methamphetamine from a man named Matthew Smitchek for $400. Despite Matthew's resistance, law enforcement swiftly moved in to apprehend him. Okay, you're under arrest for selling meth. Okay. Who did I sell meth to? Who did you sell meth to? Yeah. A couple different people. Well, yeah. my money's... Matthew Smitchek found himself facing the consequences of his actions. Police recovered the $400 exchange during the deal, along with an additional sum of cash, solidifying their case against Matthew. It was a tense night in Columbus as officers rushed to respond to a reported armed robbery. Just moments later, the tension escalated as the officers observed a Domino's pizza delivery driver approaching the same residence. Well, what's that? A real guy because it's the lady tried to hit me with a car. On the yeah, you, yeah, because you tried to rob her. Oh, yeah, you did. The other lady tried to... With law enforcement present, the suspect was swiftly apprehended before he could carry out a second robbery attempt. 
averting potential harm to another pizza delivery driver and ensuring the safety of the community. It's a nerve-wracking day in Volusia County as the VCSO's Air One helicopter springs into action, taking to the skies to track a suspect vehicle linked to multiple burglaries. With unwavering precision and determination, the Air One helicopter diligently follows the suspect vehicle's every move as it crosses county lines into Seminole County. In a heart-stopping moment, the suspect vehicle suddenly grinds to a halt, prompting three burglary suspects to bail out, attempting to evade capture on foot hastily. However, thanks to the seamless coordination and combined efforts of law enforcement agencies, all three suspects are swiftly apprehended, bringing a swift resolution to the tense ordeal. In a shocking turn of events, video footage from a police body camera abruptly ends just as a confrontation begins between an officer and an uncooperative resident. ID yourself, you're going to go to jail. The music is down. I need to see your ID. Ma'am! Despite the officer's commands, the situation escalates further, leading to physical restraint and the arrest of the uncooperative resident. I had just picked up a side cam from a police officer's car that shows very wrong doings. In a surprising twist, a civilian discovers the dropped police body camera and contacts a local news outlet, expressing concern over the footage it may contain. The caller describes witnessing inappropriate conduct by law enforcement officers during a family event. In this dramatic footage, captured by the dash cam of an Arkansas State Police cruiser, we witness a high-speed chase that escalated into a heart-pounding confrontation. The police car's front bumper makes contact with the rear of the suspect's vehicle, causing it to veer off course and collide with a concrete barrier. Show me your hands, both of you! Driver's trying to get out and flee! Driver's fixing to flee! Driver's about to flee out of that door! With the suspect vehicle incapacitated, law enforcement officers waste no time in springing into action. They approach the vehicle cautiously, ensuring the safety of all involved, before swiftly apprehending the suspect. In a stunning twist of fate, DPS troopers in Kinney County intercepted a U-Haul van making its way from Georgia to Austin, Texas, uncovering a startling discovery inside. Concealed beneath layers of blankets were three illegal immigrants, their hopes for a brighter future overshadowed by the grim reality of being exploited by human smugglers. You're going to be charged with uh, three counts of human smuggling. The driver, hailing from Georgia, was swiftly apprehended and faced charges of human smuggling, underscoring the severity of the situation and the ruthless exploitation at play. In a dramatic and unexpected turn of events, a woman's stubbornness ultimately led to her arrest after a routine traffic stop took a dangerous turn, escalating into a high-speed chase. <laughs> Refusing to heed the officer's instructions, she made the impulsive decision to flee the scene, pushing her vehicle to speeds of 55 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour zone, placing herself and others in imminent danger. Got any weapons on you, anything? Any guns, knives? You cannot search my car. Hey, you cannot search my car. Uh, Alex, I'm gonna do an inventory on it. Is she going? Yeah, she's going. Following her arrest, she faced charges of resisting without violence and reckless driving, both categorized as misdemeanors, shedding light on the gravity of her actions and the repercussions that ensued. We bring to light the startling footage capturing the DUI arrest of Ola, Louisiana Chief of Police Jody O'Bear. Chief O'Bear's behavior during the arrest raised alarming red flags, with evident signs of intoxication, such as slurred speech and difficulty maintaining balance. Despite officers' attempts to administer standardized field sobriety tests, Chief O'Bear adamantly refused, citing his background and training as a law enforcement officer. Is there any way can I can help? Ma'am. Is there any way I can help? Call her up. Call her up. Yes, ma'am. Despite Chief O'Bear's claims of having consumed only a single alcoholic beverage, 
The gravity of the situation led to his arrest on suspicion of driving while intoxicated, highlighting the sobering reality of the incident. In DeLand, Florida, a terrifying incident unfolded as Volusia County Sheriff's deputies pursued a suspect. The suspect in question, Darian Myler, stands accused of a heinous act, allegedly beating his girlfriend and imprisoning her in the trunk of a car before fleeing from law enforcement at breakneck speeds, reaching up to 120 miles per hour. As deputies closed in on the suspect, he led them on a perilous high-speed chase, weaving dangerously through the streets of Daytona Beach. Finally got my camera up now. All right, still southbound. 15A. Come up to Candlelight Oaks. With the suspect showing no signs of slowing down, deputies resorted to deploying stop sticks in a desperate attempt to halt the vehicle. Their efforts paid off as the suspect's vehicle was eventually brought to a stop, and to everyone's relief, he surrendered without further incident. Darian Myler was swiftly taken into custody, bringing an end to the heart-stopping pursuit. In this body cam footage from a Florida police traffic stop, officers encountered a white female driver named Nicole. Uh, can you step out for me? Can you just leave all that stuff over there? As officers conversed with Nicole, they observed her exhibiting nervous behavior, which raised their suspicions. This prompted them to decide on a canine search of the vehicle. To their alarm, the canine quickly alerted to the presence of drugs, prompting the officers to conduct a thorough search of the vehicle. It was during this search that officers stumbled upon a rubber glove, concealed within which lay several clear baggies, containing a suspicious powder substance. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Nicole attempted to conceal the incriminating evidence. However, her efforts were futile as officers swiftly restrained her with handcuffs. She was promptly read her rights and agreed to engage in further conversation with the officers, setting the stage for what would undoubtedly be a tense interrogation. In a routine traffic stop conducted by DPS troopers in Kinney County, Arkansas, the unexpected unfolded as six illegal immigrants were apprehended. Um, actually, sir, we just saw them um, walk in. They asked us for a ride. Turn, I swear. Turn around. I swear. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. As the troopers conducted the stop, they questioned the driver, who appeared confused and disoriented regarding the presence of illegal immigrants in the vehicle. To their surprise, the passenger, hailing from Arkansas as well, was discovered to be a fugitive. Both the driver and the passenger were subsequently arrested for their roles in human smuggling, adding a layer of complexity to what initially seemed like a routine stop on the road. In a tense scenario reminiscent of a domestic dispute, a woman adamantly refuses to leave her ex-boyfriend's residence, despite his mother's repeated pleas for her to do so. I asked for a couple more minutes until my other deputy gets here and then She's going to have two routes. One, she's going to answer me, or she's going to go to jail. As officers attempt to defuse the escalating situation, they engage Samantha in dialogue, requesting her identification and imploring her to depart before matters worsen. Despite their efforts, Samantha remains steadfast in her refusal, thereby risking potential arrest and legal ramifications. What did I do? What did I do? How about run a stop sign, screw your tires, and you failed to yield. Now you're well, in arrest. I didn't fail to... After some back and forth, Samantha finally leaves, but then things take another twist. Law enforcement follows her as she refuses to stop her car, leading to a dramatic arrest and the discovery of marijuana in her possession. It's like a scene ripped straight from the heart of an action-packed blockbuster, except this is happening in the real world. A high-speed pursuit with state police, where adrenaline surges and danger lurks around every corner. as units coordinate to block off roads and deploy spike strips in a desperate bid to halt the pursuit. The suspect shows no signs of relenting. Instead, they brazenly veer into oncoming traffic, recklessly endangering innocent lives in their relentless bid to escape. You realize how many people you could have killed? In a dramatic climax, the state police take swift and decisive action executing a precision immobilization technique, PIT maneuver with pinpoint accuracy. The suspect's vehicle is sent spinning out of control, 
finally coming to a screeching halt, putting an end to the perilous chase. On April 8, 2023 in Waukesha, Wisconsin, a routine traffic stop turned into a high-speed chase, leading to multiple felony charges for the occupants of the vehicle. Six your nine, he's taking off. An on-duty officer initiated the stop as soon as the window was rolled down. The unmistakable scent of marijuana filled the air, raising suspicion. The vehicle sped away, initiating a pursuit that lasted approximately 20 miles. Hop over, you're gonna get tased! Okay! God damn, Joe! Get on the ground, do it now! Get down on the ground! On your stomach! In a desperate attempt to escape capture, the occupants of the vehicle faced numerous obstacles, including encountering stop sticks deployed by law enforcement. Despite these efforts, the vehicle was eventually disabled, forcing both occupants to flee on foot. Undeterred, multiple officers swiftly responded, pursuing the suspects with unwavering determination. Their efforts culminated in the apprehension of the suspects, aided by the invaluable assistance of a K-9 unit. In a swift and coordinated operation, law enforcement agencies in Florida successfully apprehended a suspect involved in a shooting in Alachua County. Following the incident, the Volusia County Crime Center, VC3, wasted no time in issuing a critical alert, prompting police units to spring into action. Their efforts were rewarded when the suspect's vehicle was swiftly located. He's still, he's still not in custody, he's walking back to the front of the car. Yeah, he's not going 1015 just yet. The suspect, identified as Makajai Valenzuela, found himself swiftly surrounded and apprehended by law enforcement officers, marking a significant victory in the pursuit of justice. In a startling twist of fate, a 22-year-old North Carolina man found himself wanted for a probation violation related to drug trafficking charges. First name is Tyler. Hey! 312, one of them just jumped out of the car. And took off. Upon conducting a routine background check, Officers were stunned to discover that West was wanted for a probation violation. In a bold and daring attempt to evade capture, West hastily abandoned his vehicle and fled into a densely wooded area. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the FCSO swiftly mobilized a police K-9 unit to track down the fleeing suspect. After a tense pursuit, West found himself surrounded by officers and promptly apprehended. Without further incident, he was taken into custody, bringing an end to the harrowing ordeal. Caught on camera, witnessed the intense pursuit as officers relentlessly chased down a foreigner speeding through the busy streets. With adrenaline coursing and tensions reaching a fever pitch, the pursuit reaches a critical juncture as the foreigner's vehicle is cornered by law enforcement, bringing the heart-pounding chase to a head. Run from you. Yeah, why'd you run from me? I live around the corner. Nobody's running from nobody. I try to do a traffic stop on the... But the pulse-pounding drama doesn't conclude there. What follows is a gripping and tense confrontation between the foreigner and the officers, heightening the stakes and keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. In Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, on May 15th, 2022, an ordinary traffic stop took a startling turn when an on-duty officer initiated a routine procedure due to a vehicle's alarming speed, sending a ripple of tension through the air. Oh, thank you. You got anything on your phone as far as like the rental agreement? They just like us to make sure that the actual person that rented. Initially, the driver, later identified as Tataneshia, appeared to comply, offering her license and rental information without hesitation. However, what began as a seemingly straightforward encounter quickly morphed into something much more complex. Step on out real quick then. As the officer requested Tataneshia to step out of the vehicle, her demeanor underwent a sudden and unexpected transformation. She grew increasingly argumentative and uncooperative, casting a shadow of suspicion over the entire interaction. In the heart of the bustling city, chaos erupted as law enforcement engaged in a relentless pursuit of a suspect fleeing at high speeds. Yeah, he's, he's on the run. He's going uh, east on, I'm sorry, west on second. 
what began as a routine traffic stop, quickly escalated into a heart-pounding chase through the labyrinthine streets. Despite the suspect's attempts to evade capture, law enforcement officers remained hot on their trail, using every tactic at their disposal to keep them from escaping. Tire treads came off. Bail out, bail out. Uh, ISB and Terragana. Uh, looks like a white male, gray tank top. In a breathtaking twist, the suspect's vehicle finally lost control, hurtling towards a dramatic and definitive conclusion to the adrenaline-fueled pursuit. In the heart-pounding world of law enforcement, officers often find themselves in high-stakes situations, chasing down suspects in daring pursuits. With each passing moment, tensions ran high as the fleeing vehicle showed no signs of stopping. But with skillful maneuvering and quick thinking, the officers maintained control of the situation, inching closer to apprehension with each passing mile. As the pursuit surged towards its crescendo, the suspect seized a fleeting opportunity, attempting a bold escape on foot. However, the officers were poised and ready, swiftly closing in on the individual and swiftly bringing an end to the heart-stopping chase. In a dramatic turn of events, the Marion County Sheriffs have apprehended four suspects following a high-speed pursuit through the city streets. The pursuit, which lasted over an hour, captivated the attention of residents and law enforcement alike. With the pursuit nearing its climax, Deputy Donnelly executed a daring pit maneuver, bringing the stolen vehicle to a screeching halt. Driver's running westbound, the woods. However, even as the stolen vehicle came to a stop, the suspects weren't ready to give up just yet. Ignoring the odds stacked against them, they attempted a desperate escape on foot. Yet with the new Air One helicopter sweeping overhead and ground units swiftly closing in, their fleeting hope for evasion quickly evaporated into the air. In the heart of Chile, amidst the routine patrol of law enforcement officers, a routine day took a dramatic turn when vigilant officials spotted a stolen car. As the patrol unit approached the suspicious vehicle, five suspects inside quickly realized they were being pursued. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, they made a daring attempt to flee, accelerating into the busy streets of the city. In a moment of sheer chaos, the stolen car careened recklessly into a streetlight, its metal frame crumpling upon the violent impact. With screeching tires and shattered glass, the suspect's reckless flight was abruptly halted. Still, the unfolding drama was far from reaching its conclusion. In a quiet neighborhood on the night of December 30th, a vehicle burglary unfolded, leaving a homeowner and law enforcement puzzled by the identity of the suspect. But what seemed like a straightforward case took a surprising turn. As captured in this gripping footage, a resident engages in a tense dialogue with a suspicious individual, recounting a series of events that lead to a dramatic confrontation. Okay, did you see the guy on this bike here? The guy was on the bike, come around the corner like this, stop like this. Mm -hmm. The resident describes multiple attempts to stop the suspect, who seemingly evades their efforts, raising questions about the suspect's intentions and identity. In a heart-pounding pursuit captured by dashcam footage, the Arkansas State Police engaged in a high-speed chase with a red truck, leading to a harrowing rollover crash. The adrenaline-fueled chase ignited when the driver of the red truck brazenly defied a routine traffic stop, refusing to yield to the persistent sirens and flashing lights of law enforcement. Instead of pulling over, the driver opted to accelerate, plunging headlong into a perilous game of cat and mouse with the authorities. In a spine-chilling climax that no one could have anticipated, the relentless pursuit careened into a devastating rollover crash, leaving the once-red truck twisted and mangled, 
its driver now grappling with severe injuries as a grim reminder of the dangers of reckless evasion. In the heart of the city, where the night comes alive with the roar of engines and the screech of tires, a daring scene unfolds. What was meant to be a routine patrol takes an unexpected turn as street racers take over intersections, turning them into impromptu racetracks. As the street racers weave through traffic and perform dangerous maneuvers, law enforcement is hot on their trail. We can take them here if you guys are close. With skilled precision and unwavering determination, law enforcement officers work together to corner the fleeing racers and bring the chase to an end. In the heart of Florida, chaos unfolds on the highway as law enforcement races to apprehend a reckless driver. Moments ago, the driver made a dangerous turn, sending authorities on a wild pursuit. As the pursuit unfolds, weaving through lanes and dodging obstacles, the tension reaches a crescendo. Finally, after a heart-stopping half-mile chase, Law enforcement manages to successfully block the driver's path. Yet even with the immediate danger seemingly contained, the drama is far from over. Just since he's a suspended, right, we'll set right, him in a car for right now. Honey, oh, I don't know. We're going to double lock. Well, you're driving a li on a suspended license, yes, at least. With his license already suspended and now facing the looming threat of double trouble, the driver finds himself teetering on the edge of accountability as the consequences of his reckless actions loom ominously on the horizon. In a tense encounter on State Road 118, the New Mexico State Police faced a challenging traffic stop that escalated rapidly. Stop, okay? I'm not sir. saying nothing. Stop, 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 sir. Stop, 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 stop. Hey. Officers arrive on the scene and initiate a traffic stop, suspecting the driver may be intoxicated. Despite repeated attempts to detain the driver, he refuses to comply and becomes increasingly agitated. Ready? One, two, three. Eventually, the driver is subdued and placed in custody, facing serious charges for his reckless behavior. In a heart-pounding moment caught on camera, a routine traffic stop turned into a high-speed chase as a reckless driver fled from a state trooper, leaving authorities in disbelief. It all started when Trooper Johnson pulled over a speeding vehicle for a routine traffic violation. But as Trooper Johnson approached the vehicle, the driver had other plans. With a heavy foot on the gas pedal, the car bolted away, reaching an astonishing 140 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, sometimes the most unexpected encounters can leave a lasting impression. As the mundane rhythm of the parking lot plays out, there emerges a peculiar sight that piques their curiosity, breaking the monotony in an instant. A guy in a bunny hopping off a car, of all things. I think that's how you get out of trouble if you're a bad guy who puts on a costume, blending into the chaos of the unexpected, like a fox in the henhouse. The video opens with dramatic music as the screen fades from black to a dashboard camera view, of a police car chasing a red scat pack challenger on a highway. Sirens blare in the background. The Arkansas State Police dash cam captures a scat pack challenger tearing down the highway, weaving dangerously between lanes. Sirens wail as the pursuit unfolds, After a heart-pounding pursuit spanning several miles, the Scat Pack Challenger is finally forced to a halt, surrounded by a swarm of police vehicles, bringing an end to the dramatic chase. In a small town in Dimmick County, Texas, a routine traffic stop by a DPS trooper working OLS led to a startling discovery. And who's in the truck with you? Family. A lone DPS trooper 
steely-eyed and vigilant, cruises down the sun-baked highway in Dimmick County, Texas. His eyes scan the passing vehicles, ever watchful for signs of trouble. Suddenly, his trained instincts kick in as he notices a truck swerving erratically ahead. With a purposeful flick of his lights, he signals the driver to pull over. And now you are under arrest for human smuggling. All right, go ahead and turn around. They are both under arrest for human trafficking, and the four illegal immigrants will be handed over to Border Patrol. With the swift efficiency of a seasoned lawman, the trooper radios for backup, ensuring the perpetrators are swiftly apprehended. 